In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful fairy swing, which glows in the dark. Let's get started. Now, the first thing I'll be making will be my fairy chair. And so to make that, what I'll be using is one of these. And these are the plastic ornaments that you can fill up during the holidays. I'll only be using one side of it. And this is a smaller size. And what I'll be doing is taking some of my floral arrangement that I'll be using later on. And I'll just take the head of the biggest flower this one here and this I actually found at the Dollar Tree and so I'll take the petals off this because what I'll be doing is putting this and gluing it into the bottom of this and that will be the basis for my fairy chair I just wanted to do this because it would kind of tie it all together and because I like the bright yellow because my fairy is also yellow so what I'll do is I'll put some glue down here right in the middle just a little dot of glue not too much and then I'll take my flower and just press it right down into the glue like this now that I finished gluing my petals into the base what I'll do is I'll stick this into the middle of it now this used to be in the middle of the flower and so it had a little green stem on it so I've cut some of that down and I'll just cut a little bit more off here just so that it sits more flush in there and I'll put some hot glue and stick it right down here so this time I'll probably need more hot glue. Sometimes if you push the back, it comes out a lot easier. So I have quite a bit of hot glue in there. And then what I'll do is just press this right down here in the middle. Like this. And then for the back of it, I'll stick this on the back. And this used to be underneath the flower. So I'll just add some hot glue here. And that's just to cover up the hot glue that's at the back. So I'll put some hot glue in the back of this. And then just press this down right underneath here like this. Now for the fairy that's going to sit in my fairy chair, I'm using this cute little ceramic fairy that I found at Michael's. And I believe they just started selling them this week. And she's very cute and she's yellow, so she matches my flower perfectly. Now I got her with a coupon, so it ended up being about $4. So this is what she looks like. And she has glitter on the back of her wings, but I just want to add a little bit of this tulip glow-in-the-dark paint, and this is yellow. And I also found this at Michael's. I'm just going to dot a few little dots on her wings just so that her wings can glow in the dark. So I'll just squeeze it out on here first to make sure it doesn't come out too fast. And just place little dots on her wings. You won't really be able to see them because it almost matches the color of her wings. But just put random dots like this on top of her wings. And then you can also go and put some on the inside of her, her wings too. I've dotted the outside and the inside of her wings with little dots of glow-in-the-dark paint. Now I'll just set her aside so that she can dry and I'll move on to the next step. While I'm waiting for my fairy to dry, I'll finish up on my seat. Now what I'm going to do with my seat is do the same thing that I did with the fairy. I'm going to dot it all over with glow-in-the-dark paint. And that's just so that it will get the most glow possible. So I'll do the same thing I did with her. I'll just squeeze out a little bit and just put dots all over this. They don't have to be in any particular order. You can just dot it wherever you want. And you can make your dots different sizes if you like. And squeeze it all over wherever you want it to glow. Like this. Now that I covered the back of it with the glow in the dark paint, what I'll do is just add a little Christmas hook to it, this one here, or you could add anything to it that you can use so that you can hang it up somewhere so that it can dry without being disturbed or without getting the paint messed up. Now the first way I decided to display my fairy was hanging her with a Christmas ornament hook from inside this beautiful carriage. And if you want to learn how to make this carriage, I have the link provided for you in this video. And I'll show you the second way that you can hang her. So here's the second way you can display your fairy chair. And what I did is I hung her on the window. And I used one of the wreath hooks that you can find. I found this one at Walmart, I think it was for the holidays. And it was only about $2. And then on the front of the hook, just to cover it up a little bit, I used a beautiful butterfly ornament that I've had for quite a while now. And then to hang her, I actually used rainbow loom rubber bands because I have a lot of them lying around the house. So this is just another way you, that you can display your fairy. Of course, you can use ribbon or string or fishing wire to hang her, whatever you can find around the house. 
Now, unfortunately, I'm not able to show you how beautifully she glows in the dark, but she really does glow. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and post in the comments. And please don't forget to share this video. And let me know if you make this fairy and what color flowers you use. Thanks for watching.